I was already nervous for Zenny 2 last episode, but especially how it ended in that after credit scene, oh, I have no idea what's going to happen. What's up Dapper Squad and belated Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to all you guys and your loved ones and your families, to your pets and to anyone around you who gives you joy and cheer throughout this time of the year. Just hope you guys had a fantastic holiday, keep having a great break, you know, watch lots of anime, all that jazz. I'm super excited for Sunday Demon Slayer. Especially with how last episode ended, we have Daki, the upper, the lower six, but she's number six in the moons, and she is she's killed seven Hashira over the many the long time she's been here. We had the madam of her house come in to confront her, telling us stories about how when she was a kid she knew someone who when she was a kid. So I was like, it's very crazy, it's very real. Muzan came in, and congratulated her. I am super nervous. It is. It's snowing like crazy outside my house right now, so it's a it's a winter wonderland over here. Can't go wrong with some Demon Slayer. I am very excited. I say we jump right on into it. Don't forget, if you guys want early access and full length to the shows I'm watching right now on the channel, check out that Patreon. Links are down in the description down below for you guys. Not this show, obviously, because it's live, but the other shows, we are four episodes ahead on. It is a fun time. Don't forget to subscribe and click that button so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. I said that button. I meant that bell. Click that notification bell. And don't forget to follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, you guys. Let's hop into this. Demon Slayer. Kimetsu no Yaiba, Season 2, Episode 11, um, tonight. Let's do this. That's the Oiron of Tanjiro's house, not Zenitsu's. I would like to read children's stories from this period and from Japan. That'd be honestly really dope. I bet you they have a lot of interesting stories. Shouts out to the kid. Aww. Tanjiro is such a good boy. There's a lot of people who've asked me who's my favorite anime main character over the years. It's always been Naruto because I, I grew up with Naruto and I love Naruto. But Tanjiro is such a great main character. Uh -huh. So we didn't immediately get saved or anything like that. Like Zenitsu actually got abducted and is still gone. This. Yeah, he knows. He knows Warabihime fucking murdered her. Him. I'm just trying to fit with the story, you know. <laughs> He's giving him the intelligence update. <laughs> Bro, Inosuke is not... Like, playing charades with Inosuke would not be fun. Tenga knows? Give us an update, please. He is the sound, Hashira. Tengen's not wrong. This is... Yeah, they're still in the investi investigatory stage, so he really doesn't know if this is an upper rank, you know? Yes, they will. I really respect that Tengen's a badass, but yeah, they have to protect Zenitsu, so they're not gonna get out of this. And it's, we gotta rank up a little bit. We gotta get some higher ranks. Oh, really? I didn't know they moved up a little bit. I didn't know that. We're right next to, uh, what's her name? The Suguko of, of Shinobu. Interesting, I had no idea. They can show you an active rating on Wisteria Flower Engraving? Show me my rank. That's cool. They have an official sign in case there's someone impersonating a Demon Slayer. You know, they wouldn't have that Wisteria Engraving. So they're not leaving. No matter what. That's all. That's why. Tandy Rose, best boy. I always say that. Come on. I respect him. <laughs> I can't lie. I wonder how children like that, maybe their twins, get into that job and that position, but they are super adorable. <laughs> like, just their personality, you know? Now, I wonder, because we're getting an alone time with Oiran, she's the Oiran of Tanjiro's house, so she's hopefully good. 
It is Tanjiro, and he's not even in makeup anymore. He's going full deep. <laughs> Tanjiro thought he was slick. He thought he was playing Among Us. Some clue. You're leaving too? She got like personally bought out. Wow. Oh, shouts out to her. That's dope. Easily one of the nicest anime characters of all time. Shouts out Tanjiro. Shouts out her too. She's very cool. I liked her, especially as an Oiran. Yeah, you know, I hope she does find everlasting happiness in her life. But Tanjiro is the goat. No, no, that would be so dirty if we killed her. Why does Daki have to look? Oh my god. Damn, she looked good. I am so butthurt that just happened, bro. I am praying to Jesus she doesn't die. With the spirit of coming through in my heart. Did I just see some muscular shinobi mice? Oh, I'm not even I'm not even gonna get into that. That was Oh wow. Tengen is getting his info. Yeah. Is he actually gonna tell him Waru Behime? I I wonder if he knows that Tengen's job is to end Waru Behime, so I wonder if he'll actually tell him. Oh, me too. Oh, yes! Yes, we're getting info. And Tengen's gone without a literal sound. Oh my god, this man's so fucking... Tanjiro, first run in with Daki. Oh my god, this woman is... God damn, sexy. There's Koina. Is she literally eating her through her sky, her scarves, her thing? How, what? Her sashes? Upper six, yep. And the last, the last time we saw an upper six was Tanjiro was one of his homies dying. Striking tide, turbulent. Okay, good slashes, good cuts. Animation is looking crisp right now. I'm not sure how, because he's not even cutting these. He's just literally, oh, that was his first time cutting one. I was about to say, how do we fight these things? Is that Kuinatsu? That's so crazy. I don't know how that works. Like, she can eat the power people with her. It's a tough question to ask yourself. I personally say no, but I I should have more faith in you. I should have more faith in my main character, Tanjiro. This is why I need more faith in my man, bro. I literally just got goosebumps. My man needs to do this. Don't end the episode here. I'm going to be pissed. I think we've gotten to that stage in this season or should i say this arc where the setup has happened and we're starting to hit the climax like this was still a good part of setup in the first half but shit starting to hit the fan i have a feeling especially with tenguin tengen getting that important vital information from the master of war behime's house that tengen's gonna be playing a playing a very pivotal role here in this fight real soon i think i'm curious what happened to zenitu because i thought for sure we'd get a zenitu update this episode but we did not. He's still missing, which is super scary. But according to the information and the the theories that Tanjiro has been coming up, up with, it, it does make sense that they would be, still be alive. Maybe especially because the last time we saw one of them alive was Daki interrogating Makio because she was writing letters. But we didn't know Daki didn't know who to. So it makes sense to keep them alive to get as much info as possible. That way, a Hashira, aka Tengen, doesn't come up and like kill us from behind you know 
So I'm very curious where that's going to play out. I'm very curious how the wives are going to play into this because I thought at this point already in the story, we would have already saved them, seen them. We've seen only one. We haven't even, you know, like we haven't even talked to them. I'm very curious how, like, what world they're going to play. I want to see Tengen in action so bad. They've shown multiple times that he's the sound Hashira and he makes zero sound in this episode. And there's only one other character who has like a, they, they like make a distinct thing to say how quiet he is, especially when he moves. And that's my favorite anime character of all time right here. White hair boy, Killua. Um, he's an ex assassin. And so like there are constant characters who have like kind of like Zeni too with expert hearing and stuff like that, who are just running with him and just like, whoa, bro, why are your footsteps 10 times quieter than the average person? He's just like, I'm used to just running quietly because I'm an assassin. And I'm just like, that's fucking incredible, you know, like, like, I love how quiet he is, and I don't know what's going on with the super fucking muscular ninja mice that he has training with Inosuke, it's just, I have, I have no idea what's happening. But other than that, I didn't really write too much down, I'm very excited for what's gonna happen next, like I said, I'm very excited for Tengen to jump into this fight, very excited to find out what happens. Do you guys know, and answer me if you know, if you don't, that's completely fine, or if it's a spoiler, don't tell me, but is this going to be the only arc of this season because obviously they put the first seven episodes of this season as the mugen train arc to recap anyone who hadn't watched the movie leading up to the next part of this season but is the entertainment district arc the red light district arc is this going to be episodes 8 through 25 i don't know how many episodes are going to be in the season total or is this going to be 8 through 15 and we'll have I don't, i'm curious if you guys know that answer let me know if you don't no worries like i said i Appreciate you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out that Patreon. Leave a like, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Follow all the social medias. It is snowing like crazy outside my house. I appreciate you guys immensely. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.